Hello, welcome to the Laurel Palace. My name is Kayla Red Wine. Welcome, come on in. Come on in. We got some wine over here. We got some cheeses. We got a cartoonery board. Um, so hey y'all. Um, this reading was really going to be pertaining to inner child. I actually found this picture of me when I was younger. Pretty beautiful, you know, little girl. And I wanted to channel her, you know, and ask her like basically like who did you want to be like what were your interests um what do you have to say you know what do you have to say to me and i just wanted to bring you guys along with me before i started this reading i had got the energy of like you are not alone and we're gonna dig into that and we're gonna talk about that and just see what comes up and let the energies guide us and yeah we're going to be using the golden deck. I never, this is going to be straight channeling. Um, and whatever just comes to mind when I see the cards. I'm not really going by guidebook. I don't really resonate with the guidebook that much. Like the terms that they're using. And it seems like it's everything's like really up for interpretation. So we're just going to see what we get. See what's given. And go from there. What message does my inner child has for me today? It says you know how, but will you? So to think about like how to inter uh, connect, well, how to connect with our inner child, of course, tapping in, but I feel like it's asking the question, but really allowing yourself to sit to wait for the answer. And or maybe you don't sit there, but you put it out there and then you're going to get an inspiration of how to connect, whether it's through writing or through if you use cards, that could be a way. And or um, taking the time back to think about what was your interest. I can think about like what I was interested about at those times. Um, at that time in my life so we're just gonna see what advice our inner child has to give for us first and foremost the first card is gonna be what message our inner child has for us I'm pretty. I was pretty then too. <laughs> what message do you have for me, inner child? The magician. Give me another card. Just heard one more. One more. What message do you have for me? Okay, it's a fucking shit ton. So we have the magician and every time I see this, it's kind of, it's giving the energy that there's so much to me, you know, um, from this affinity above the crown. So it very much gives me divine energy. Um, you have like a really good connection with the metaphysical. You have a really good connection with this thing that we called God, divine energy, then you also have these pinnacles here. You have a chalice here. You have swords here. You have a wands here. Okay. So to me, it's like I have a lot of tricks up my sleeves. There's so much to me. And I feel like it's, it's saying, use me. 
like use my interests to bring forth new ways and new paths into your life trust me you know um to even see how one hand is up and one hand is down i mean one hand's up and you got another um this hand right here pointing down is very much giving me we can go high or low like if whether you use me or not that's really up to you but when i think of like i can go high or low it's kind of giving me i can do something or nothing at all but it's all depending on what are you going to do with it you know um The magician, it very much always gives me, I use what I have. And in order even to have all these things in the first place, the fact that you have the challenge, the fact that you have the earth. So for me, I, I tell that you are someone that is connected with your emotions and or have emotions. Everybody has emotions, but I feel like you understanding at a different level. And also even your pinnacles that tells me like you, you have a lot of fruitful energy you have water to be put into the earth to nurture whatever it is that you um, have to give. Not only that, but with this wand here, it's about actions to me. All the time I think about actions, fire. And even with sword, air, you have all the elements. You have all that you need, that you're very capable. And when I hear like get to know me, I feel like it is about mixing some things up in these cups. And even, I don't know exactly what this is right here. It can be like a magic wand at this point. But I feel like it's using your intuition, using your gifts, and using what comes to you, your mind. Understanding that you have a unique connection with self and the world around you. And I feel like this is also giving me, because a part of me says like, sometimes like, you know, magicians get bad raps some of them it depends because you got some magicians that are very palatable then you have some magicians that are just different and unique in their own ways but it's all magic right so to me it's kind of like i feel like you to me i feel like it's you have a lot of magic you have a lot of possibilities within you you have a lot of different varieties and facets and i feel like you're gonna have to take time to bring it into the earth you know write it out and make it plain we have the two of wands here. So every time I think of two, I think of balance. And then also to see how I was looking off into the distance. I can't help but to think about this is you looking off to you. Like there's so much out there. There's so much beauty. There's so much I can give. There's so much that I have. And I feel like the question we're asking is how, you know, um, but to see this page, I feel like you're going to be having to write your own story. To see this page, I feel like it's going to be a whole new beginning that you're going to have to forge for yourself. You have your chalice, you have your pinnacles, you have your wands, you have you have everything. You are very multi-leveled, multi-faceted, and I feel like you're going to have to cater to it on a whole nother level. Look how he's looking at this pinnacle. So... From going into the metaphysical, taking it from the spirit, taking it from your intuition, taking it from what you are as a soul and how you have collected a lot of data, a lot of wisdom, a lot of talent over time and allowing yourself to bring it out into the world. Okay. And to do that, that does involve getting your hands dirty. That involves, you know, participating in things that bring you joy, in things that excite you. And to see this, also like the whole energy of not alone, you're like, to see these two here, I feel like you have above and below. You know, you have, you have the things that can help you build something stable and to build a foundation for you. I feel like you may have to balance emotions. You have to balance your world that you are, that your world and the outside world, because those two things really do exist because you may be interested in a certain way of living and doing things and the world is like, what the fuck is that? Or like, that's not going to get you there. Like, you know, you, it's like a, to me, I also feel like 
there might be a sense of conflict. But I feel like the way that you're looking out, I feel like you're very fixed on having this type of life of you see all the mountains, the travel. Like when I see these mountains and all these things in the background, I can't help but think about travel and adventure. I can't help but to think that. And it says there's a ring in his hand. But I don't know about, to me, this looks like a little world in his hand. I feel like you got the world in your hands. I feel like it's going to have to be you that allow yourself to move into that and to really embody that and to give your energy and time to it. And I feel like this is like a message that is kind of like always repeating, but it's the energy that's necessary. You know, if you, you have a whole kitchen right here, you're capable of so much, but are you going to allow yourself to forge and to collect pinnacles along the way? This is like giving me spark of um, inspiration. This gives, I have a seed to give to the earth. And it's like, are you going to go ahead and plant it? And a part of me says, even these staffs, the way that they have um, leaves on them, I feel like you're going to have to allow your tree to grow. So what I feel like my inner child is telling me is that you're beyond capable. And there's a lot of layers to you. There's a lot of things that you're talented with. But you're going to have to start somewhere and do something in order for it to grow. You have what you need. You have a vision. Let alone you know at least what your end goal is. Because one thing that um, is very interesting because last night, um, I was actually trying to look for another reading that I had got, I had gotten personally, but I only found um, voice shades, and it was it reminded me because it was a numerology reading for me, and her advice and even with the numbers and the energy that I have, it was always about, you know, a lot of people say have a plan, but you're really not that person to be planning things. You are more of a person that feels your way through. And somebody that um, takes step by step and moment by moment and follow breadcrumbs. And it's interesting because I feel more guided to that, do that. But I also have a lot of big energies in me as well. And also I have programming in life um, telling me certain things. And it's like, well, I feel like I need a plan. But every time I think about having a plan, I can't, I don't. It's, some ways, some things I am able to plan or like pull out of me, but sometimes it's like very hard to think about planning. Like I'm just like, I, I'll know when I get there type vibe. I'll figure it out when I get there. And I feel more strong and confident in those spaces. And so to see this, I kind of feel like you're going to have to get started for real. You know what you like. You know you like art. You know you like music. You know you like connecting and talking and you know you have certain gifts and talents and it's about allowing yourself to put it out there for it to grow. And I feel like the way that you're looking out there in the world and even to be on this mount, because to me he's up, he's not on the streets or down below, he's above. For him to be able, for me to be able to see um, these mountains and him to be at a sense of level with them, it gives high vision thinking. It's giving, I'm seeing beyond and also is, is giving, I have a vision and I just have to start somewhere. And or I have something in general that I'm going for, the type of experience that I'm looking for. And I have to allow myself to plant this pinnacle into the earth. We have air here. Let me see. I think, yeah. Um, no, swords are air. So wands are action. Wands are action. So I feel like you're going to have to combine all these things. Your emotions, your your thoughts, your intuition, um, in action to plant this to make something happen for you. But let's 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 keep pulling some cards to get more of a storyline um, for us today. What message, our inner child? What what else would you like to communicate with us today, inner child, to help us move forward? I'm not even tired. I think my, my brain just needs some air. Life, energy, and clarity. The 
give attention to things that give you life, that give you energy. And I also feel like with the clarity thing, I feel like that's going to bring you more clarity, especially when you are following things that pique your interest, things that make you happy. And also keep an open mind to be like, let the universe know, okay, I want to make a living this way. I want to make a way for myself in this capacity, in this way. Bring it forth. What's the next step I should take to get this? Okay, don't be afraid to demand. Like a lot of times people don't want to demand shit because they think God is like what humans have made God out to be. Um, like another human or some shit. No. <laughs> nah. You are here to have dominion. You are here to have dominion. This gives me dominion energy too. You are here to have dominion. Um, so demand, you know, and also this is not just a demand outside of yourself. It's a demand within you too. Um, but I feel like you're going to be getting a lot more energy, but most definitely giving your energy to these things. I feel like it's going to bring more life and more clear to see the moon. To me, this is the moon and the sun. So I feel like you have learned a lot um, in a sense of about knowing the difference between like fears and doubts. Like you've been doing a lot of reflecting, a lot of inner um a lot of inner work, a lot of inner understanding, and as much as you are learning about outside things. And I feel like the focus is more so about giving our energy to things that give us life. Let's pull from our symbols and see what other message our inner child has for us today. I just heard my hand. Got everything that I need. So apply it. Do it. You know, one thing I remember saying this. I don't say this before. I don't know if I actually posted the video, but I've said before the reason why I admire celebrities is not because they're celebrities. It's because the type of courage it takes to put yourself out there and not let the world turn you around and make you go back into your closet, that that speaks a lot. And, you know, um, as somebody that's very understanding, and I get it, I have to also realize that I'm not here to allow the world or other people to turn me around or deter me because of opinions and their own perspective. Because a part of me says, like, that's a part of the hills, that's a part of the mountains, that's a part of the potholes, that's a part of the winds and the rains, like, but you keep going. You don't allow it to stop you. Um, and as much as, like, I have paused myself, I still feel like I've been fighting, but I have been fighting in stillness, um, not really fighting in action as in just keep moving forward towards those things that i'm interested in so um let's continue forward Ooh. freedom and emancipation This meaning is independence comes with its responsibilities. This symbol often means freedom. Cool. And I feel like it's your responsibility to take your power back. It's your responsibility to maintain and obtain this freedom. You know, um, the freedom of expression. Um, it, it reminds me of this poem that I, I write a lot of poems about freedom and um, darkness and light. Like, I noticed that um, <laughs> over my time, and it, it's taught me a lot. And it showed me like where I was, but it's actually pretty amazing. And I just feel like we want our freedom. Your inner child wants her freedom to express. And I feel like, you know, a lot of times, whether consciously or subconsciously, people really do do their best in like shackling people of how they should be acting, how they should be doing things. And even if it's not directed to you, sometimes it might just be social media and like people sharing their opinions and their thoughts. And sometimes that can make you like be like, damn, like, I can't shit or piss right. Like, people always got something to say. And it's like, no matter what, give yourself the space and the acceptance and validation 
to hold space and to be yourself and allow yourself to express that in whatever way that you see fit okay so we have freedom and um, emancipation i don't feel like we don't we don't care about not say responsibility does not scare us it does not scare us okay so i feel like we're going to be taking this responsibility with our head up i just feel like you're going to have to be responsible in the sense of standing on your shit whatever that is that day wherever it is in that moment and i feel like you're going to really be able to fly for real our inner child wants her fucking freedom it reminds me of don't quit my freedom i came up to get me some i'm nasty i'm evil must be something in the water hold up i'm a mother's daughter and you gotta take that by slight because one thing i always one thing i um <laughs> one thing that i've been reflecting on is this whole notion of good and evil because the truth is People can do good things and somebody out there can think of it as evil. And people can do evil things and some people can think they're doing it for good. So it is really not the definition of good and evil of what you should do. Sometimes what people deem as evil or wrong or whatever could be really liberating in a way that we don't understand because of all the rules or like limitations that have been put on us. And also I think of it like this. We have these definitions of good and evil from people that have did evil things for quote unquote their own reasons for good and that has put us in conflict about really what good and evil is about and i just feel like it's subjective and you need to listen to your own fucking self i don't care about this whole good and evil stuff i feel like i know my heart and you should know your heart as well and we know we're not here to cause any harm but i always think about it also is that when you are being you you may trigger somebody you may make up someone upset but that does not mean you're doing something bad or evil um you there's a difference there's a difference there's a difference we're gonna see what affirmations powerful thought cards that can be given to us from our inner child but i really feel like our inner child wants her freedom and i feel like you're gonna have to give it to her you're gonna have to allow yourself to plant seeds and to put yourself out there to experiment to allow yourself to see what you can do with your chalices and see what you can do with your pinnacles. Like, see what you can do with what you have within you and outside of you. I feel like you have a lot of tools um, that you probably have not been utilizing. Or a lot of desires that you have not been putting out there in the world. Yeah. Spirit, inner child. I see my parents as tiny children who need who need love. I have compassion for my parents' childhoods. I know that I choose okay, I know that I chose them because they were perfect for what I had to learn. I forgive them and set them free. I set myself free. I feel like once upon a time you had desires and interest that you were verbalizing that you were expressing but possibly you weren't getting yeah let's let's invest into this let's keep on practicing let's do this you might have been told that may not work and that's not stable and that's not going to give you nothing solid and you have to, and one thing i always this is something that i have thought about and have released myself from is like our parents know what they're taught as well and what they have done to survive as well. So like, I don't, I'm not upset that that was the message that I was given because it was out of love. It wasn't out of hate. It was out of, this is how I had to get it. And this is just what it is. But I feel like the way that our parents are raised is valid because it has helped us to be able to live how we live. But I also feel like it might've also killed the dreamer in us it probably made our um our little child go into her hiding spot because she really could not be free for real she could not allow herself to explore and experiment without being kind of like having her energy suppressed 
So, you know, I forgive them and I set them free and I set myself free. There's a lot of freeing self. There's a lot of freeing energy. And I feel like it's just saying, even the whole notion of I chosen to learn what I needed to learn. I think one of the things I learned was I need to listen to myself. Um, One reason why I say that is because I remember, I never forget this. Maybe it was 2000. I don't remember what it was. It was just recent, maybe like two years ago maybe three years ago, I can't really remember what year, but I know it was recent. Um, and my mom has said to me randomly, I don't even know why she said it. She said, Kayla, I thought we would be in Hollywood by now. And like, I didn't have a reaction then. I was just kind of like, I don't even know what my reaction was. But I remember later on, I was like, I did not have support like that. You know, we, we could have been. But I was told that acting wasn't a career. I was told that th I needed to go to school and find something stable. But I also understood that that was also her way of, like, her truth. Like, that was her reality. And that's, like, what her upbringing was. And that's, like, what the world has been catered to. So I understand that. I really do get it. Um, but I feel like the type of energy is here is that you can find stability in the things that you give your all to and your energy to, period. So, you know, I feel like also we as kids teach our um, parents as well. I really do believe that. I feel like I have been that person. I feel like my mom is completely different with me um, than probably what she could be. And I'm really grateful for that. But I think it's because of me because of my energy, because of my spirit, because of my being, and just the shit I don't be tolerating in a sense of, I don't want these things. So if I can't, I've kind of been the energy, if I can't have what I have, I don't want shit. <laughs> but that's not, that's not where I am anymore. Um, because at the same time, I didn't know I could have it. And I had to reprogram my mind. I haven't, I've been having to work on that. So I'm not just if I can't have that, I have nothing. No, it's like, I can't, I don't want that. I'm gonna go get this versus I don't want that. I'm just gonna stand still and figure this shit out. Well, that helped me. It really did because it brought forth answers and understandings that are going to help me be like, I don't want that. So I'm gonna go get this. Um, but it's very much given me, our parents know what they've been taught. And at the end of the day, the way that our parents been taught has been pretty much, it's helped, it's helped us in one way or the other. Um, I kind of think about sometimes balancing, but a part of me says even then I'm still like determined of like what I want, but it does remind me of another layer of life and understanding. But I think it's not to make you conform or go that way. It could just be to spark even more fire in you to use what's in you to plant those seeds so you can really be standing on that mountaintop one day drinking your mimosa or just taking in the view. Um, but set your parents free. Set yourself free from the ways that we've been taught. And I feel like that's just something that I've been going through for like the past year. I've been doing exactly that. And still to this day learning more about myself, learning more about uh, what this journey could be for me. So um, yeah, let's continue forward. We're going to close out with an angel number. We're going to take this. <laughs> We're going to take that one because that's my favorite number. And also it is my, I don't know if this is my expression number. I can't remember exactly which this is, but this is a part of my numerology number as well as three. I want to say it's like my expression number or like the way people see me or personality. I can't remember. Hey, dad. All right, so expression comes to you, expression comes naturally to you. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits. You are able to get others on board with your ideas. I am charismatic. And this is actually something that I relate to because one thing I used to say, like, I just want to express myself. I just want to express. I just want to express. And um, one thing I am also practicing on and I'm getting better with is communicating my thoughts through my words. Because sometimes I feel like there's the words don't do it. The things that I, I think or how I feel, I just feel like some words don't meet the mark. But I'm finding my way. So I feel like it's just saying stay charismatic. 
Um, allow yourself to express. Allow yourself to explore because you know you want to. And I feel like since your soul is geared towards that, it's going to support you in that. So allow your inner child to live by living, um, by applying, by doing, and experimenting. Because that's what's going to bring you your freedom. Is you expressing yourself, you sharing yourself, and it's going to give you life. It's going to give you more energy. It's going to bring more things to you to allow yourself to express exactly who you are and how you are. So forgive yourself. Forgive your upbringing, you know, if you need to. Because the truth is, you understand how powerful the mind is. And I feel like you're just decoding, detaching from certain ways to forge your own. And I feel like you really love this view because the truth is, I feel like he's looking out towards water as well. You know how vast the world is. You know how beautiful and enlightening and interconnected and amazing things are. And I feel like you just want to experience that. You just want to feel that. And allow other people, like when I think about the things that I've created, I realize it was all based in expression and freedom. All my businesses, a lot of them were based in creativity, expression, and freedom. And I love that, not just for me, but for others too. So thank you guys for tuning in with my inner child reading. I'm still going to take some time to tap in on a different level, um, to really just sit with myself and to see what comes to me. But um, thank you guys for coming into the palace today. My name is Kayla Redwine. Be you, stay true, and always remember, honey, stay golden. Bye, y'all.